Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. And together, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. And welcome, welcome to Tobacco Advent 2014, day... 13. 13. All right, get on that, boy. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we smoked yesterday. Um, something from Tewksbury. Something I liked a lot, and I cannot recall what it was. Huh. What it was. I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> uh, butter pecan? Butter pecan. Butter pecan. Yeah. Hmm. I got no butter. Got no pecan. No, but... But I liked good. it. Yeah. I liked it. All right, day 13. Okay. Another from Jerry's Tobacco Shop in Denver. So it is Piper McGee. Ron. This is Dark Horse. Yeah. Description. Green River Vanilla. Dark and bright burleys with just a hint of flavor. What flavor? Who knows? Um, it's dark horse. I'm assuming it's horse flavor. Dealer's choice. <laughs> <laughs> horse flavor. All right. Wait. Get hung up on something here. There we go. <clears throat> what did you think of that, Tewksbury? I liked it. You know, I, I have become pretty impressed with Tewksbury. Um, we've gotten to smoke several of their tobaccos, uh, Hobbit's Weed and one other one on our regular channel, or on our regular show, and uh, have enjoyed all of the ones I've had so far from them. Mm-hmm. Me too. Tewksbury, Denver, Colorado. All right. Let me sign this here. Question for today is, do you remember any of your gifts from last year? Received or gived? Mm. Gived? Gave? Given. G gived? Gifted? Any from last year, received or given? Hmm. Yes, remember when I gave? Remember when you gave? When I gave? Yeah. I don't know. I remember when you received. It's all kind of a haze because of all the vomiting. Two of them stand out in my mind for giving. All right. The first one was the Elvis Presley Christmas ornament. Oh, yeah. That we gave the yeah. Cincinnati Kennedys, good friends of ours, and our grandkids. Mm -hmm. A little ornament looked like a little turntable. And uh, it had lights and played two songs, Santa Bring My Baby Back to Me and some other Christmas song. And the kids, the grandkids, just pressed that button over and over and, and over again. Loved just it. loved it. Yeah. Um, and the other one might be one that you will name. So maybe I should just let you talk. That I will name as received or given. Let's see what you say. Well, received... The uh, Lumberjack Good job. Christmas, <laughs> Christmas pipe at the end of Tobacco Advent. Yep. Um, <clears throat> I have smoked that sucker over a 10-hour period. That's one smoking through. Um, yeah, that was good. Uh, I remember one that you, you received your pocket monkey last year. I did receive my pocket monkey, and I received my replacement pocket monkey from Zutility, the company who made it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was uh, of all the gifts that I received that uh, that one has has given me the most service. Yeah. Really, I mean, uh, use it all the time. And um, I'm glad that you mentioned that. Maybe it was just because I'm sitting here and it is tobacco advent, but I was so happy to get that for you. That was so cool because Seth, I mentioned before, every time we go to pipe shows, because of his size, Seth is usually drawn towards the big pipes. And if there's a big one on the table, it's going to be in his hand. And so I was happy to get that one for him. It's just comical. Um, I gave several Z knives, several jungly Z knives mm -hmm. out to uh, some of the, the guys in my life that don't have them yet. And, you know, knives are always a great gift for uh, a, a, a man. If you have uh, gifts that you need to get for brothers, fathers, you know, husbands, 
knife, you can't go wrong. You can't. Especially if it's a good knife. The knife that you're going to find Christmas Eve at CVS, probably not, probably not the best, but... Um, you know, there's still time to get on Amazon. That's right. Um, <clears throat> company that I really enjoy buying gifts from is a company called Lee Valley. They're uh, a company in, uh, in Canada, but they have a U.S. distribution center, so they ship out of the U.S., you go onto their website, leevalley.com, and you select your country. Part of that's for pricing and so on, mm. and the shipping shipping for sure. And there are some products, like if you're in Canada, um, and you look at tape measures and rulers and things, they default to the uh, the metric versions. And on the American website, there's more of the, the standard measuring devices. Yeah. But if you go there and you can click on one of the links they have that will help kind of sort things out... There's a link for gifts, and they have houseware gifts, garden gifts, and gifts uh, that are tool gifts, and then just general interesting gifts. And they gifts got, with a T, and not gifts with a like a short snippet of a video that loops. You mean gifs? Depends on who you talk to. Well, the guys yes. that invented it say GIF. Yeah, there's debate because the guy who invented it said that long after, years after everyone called it a GIF. Right. And so everyone has said, so what, you invented the thing, we use it more than you did, and it's a GIF. <clears throat> anyway, that is one of the most interesting sites. They also have a catalog that you can request. Yeah. Their gift catalog is fantastic. I've sent so many gifts from that website and have picked things up from that location. Uh, whenever I go to Canada on work, I always swing by one of their uh, their stores mm. and pick things up there. Now, still time I think to get something from yep. them, but for sure from Amazon. Well, and and you know, back to knives real quick. If you are in the the market for a knife, if you think, oh yeah, knife, that's a good idea. Um, talked about in maybe this week's Marco Men's Breakfast Club uh, something that I learned from Tactical X Rays, Alex. A friend of the show, and uh, if you haven't seen his channel, you he's should. A, he's a club member. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's what I meant. You're a club member because you're watching. It's fine. Uh, member of the club, and you should go and subscribe to his channel. Check it out. He has great reviews of many knives, some of which you can find on Amazon, many of which you can find on eBay. And it's there's probably still time to do that um, before Christmas time. Okay. Going to wrap this one up. Y'all make it a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.